So, hi, Vanessa. This Hello. is day one on the sauerkraut, yeah. or day two, actually. Day the first day yeah. was was going in here, and we're going to do, yeah. we're going to check it for 12 days. Yeah. So, yeah. why don't we take a look at yeah. what's in here. We'll open it up and yeah. look at this. Look it at all has that. already started to ferment. You see the bubbles it's in there? It's actually bubbling right it's now. It's fantastic, yeah. and there's enough liquid in there, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. There's enough liquid. Yeah. We're not going to... Mm. You're not going to stomp in it today. No, no, I'm not stomping in it. So we can just leave it the way it is yeah. today. Okay. Right. Very good. good. Very good. I'm very, very happy with it. Right. So I'm covering covering it up right away Perfect. because we don't want anything to get into the sauerkraut. Right. But I think we want to talk about something particular about the sauerkraut every yeah. day now. And we, I guess... Well, we looked it up and we'd heard this before. We knew about this, but... Um, we knew that sauerkraut originated in China, right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. I, and when we looked it up, the history actually is con confirmed by quite a few people mm -hmm. that it was uh, used for a staple food for the workers on the Great Wall of China, which mm -hmm. was way before, mm -hmm. um, before Christ. When right? was it? 800? Or 300? Yeah, 800 so BC. 800 yeah. BC. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then it was, yeah. uh, you read you read something well, else about it, right? I found something as well, and I found, for instance, in this German book here, yeah. I found that Marcus Portius Cato uh, lived 234 to 152 BC, Yes. and he wrote already about the sauerkraut, and about how, it's, how you can prepare sauerkraut in different ways, and one of it, uh, cabbage in different ways, yes. and one of the preparation methods was uh, fermenting was it. fermenting it. So that's a Roman yeah. guy. That's a Roman statesman. Yeah. Okay. And, then we and have, that's still that's before Christ as oh, well. That's two hundred and thirty-four to one fifty-two yeah. before Christ. Yeah. And then we have Gaius Plinius Secundus, mm -hmm. and he was twenty-three to seventy-nine before Christ. Okay, yeah. Um, not after Christ. After, after Christ. Christ. 23 yeah. to 79. Another Roman And guy. he was a herbalist, yeah, in Rome. Yeah. And he made an encyclopedia and he talks about uh, the sauerkraut, of course, and has a whole chapter on it as yeah. a healing food yeah. for the body. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which we'll yeah. get into a different in different yeah. Yeah. episodes of, course. of this. We'll talk about the healing. We're going to do a, an episode day. every day until yeah. this is done. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. and also, it's not really even a typical German dish. Is yeah, it? that's the yeah. interesting part because everybody thinks it's <laughs> the, you know the Germans they invented call it. the yeah. crowds, you know. Yeah. Uh, but it came together through a through a um, actually. Um, what English English it? comedian, wasn't it? Yeah, it, 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 it was just a stupid story that yeah. somebody brought up, right? Yeah. And yeah. for instance, there's um, James Gilray. Yeah. He was an English satirist of the 18th century. Right. And he just out of fun portrayed the Germans as being very fat and eating sauerkraut. Yeah. And it stuck to them. Yeah. 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 And the English in the Second World War called the Germans the Krauts, yes. but the military never ate sauerkraut. Right. But they they mostly um, ate herring and tomato sauce, which is more of a yeah, tip, more of is, an English dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who eats much more sauerkraut than the Germans per capita yeah. per head? Yeah. Are the Americans and the French? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Would you believe it? Yeah. Yes. Well, I believe the Americans because yeah. of yeah. the ball games and stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And and the Germans, their favorite foods are apple strudel, sauerbraten. Um, um, what else do they have? Spätzle with cheese and, you know, things like that. Yeah. Gingerbread, of course. Yeah, yeah. very famous. And, cooking, yeah. and so it's 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 totally, uh, totally different. It's totally yeah. wrong, yeah. right? And well, actually, Germany, most, of the, most yeah. of the sausage stands that I've ever seen in Germany and yeah. Austria are yeah. actually from the Turks. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're, the Turks uh, they're Turkish. Yeah. Yeah, they have their curry sausage and, yeah, and, curry and curry sausage, sausage yeah. and so on. And in Germany, um, even all the famous writers like yeah. Goethe Schiller and the famous composer Beethoven, sauerkraut never comes up. Yeah. It appears in the fifth in fifteen hundred and fifty. Yeah. It appears, but not as a national dish. Right. So it's yeah. not a national dish yeah. of Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. We're gonna set the yeah. record yeah. straight here, maybe. Yeah. So it was. It was just to wrap that up. It was started in China, and yeah. there's lots of Asian yeah. food. 
Yeah. Uh, like kimchi is yeah. a Korean food that's yeah, that's a pickled yeah. cabbage. Yeah. Or a, or a fermented and then cabbage. Then we have Ital Italy. Yeah. And then we have later on, you know, French, especially yeah. Alsac. Alsace. You know, Alsace. Yeah. Alsace. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, okay. that's that's our our first, and we'll come back tomorrow to for yeah. day three. Okay.